Mr. Kim Hammer with your devotion taken from the book of Judges, chapter 3, verses 12 through 30. Verse 12 says, Once again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and because they did this evil, the Lord gave Eglon, king of Moab, power over Israel. Why would God give the enemy of his people power over them in order to teach them a lesson? Well, we find in verse 12 that it says, Once again, Israel did that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord. We find that they are back into the repetitive cycle of sinning and doing that which is evil in the eyes of the Lord. And God now is going to resort to using their lifelong enemy, the Moabites, in order to teach them a lesson. The bigger question may be this. Why would God's people ever put God in a position that he would have to resort to using their enemy in order to teach them a lesson? The responsibility falls on us as God's people that we would never do anything that would put God in a position that he would have to resort even to using our enemy in order to teach us a lesson. If we don't go in the evil ways that lead us from the Lord, but instead we go in the ways which lead us close to the Lord, we won't have to worry about God resorting to this and we can live in a right relationship with him. As God had always done before, he would do it again and that he would deliver Israel from out from underneath their bondage. And that's what verse 15 tells us is that God was going to provide a deliverer who would come and lead Israel out of bondage. When you look at the individual that God used, his name was Ehud. Now, he may not fit the description of what you and I would think as far as how God was going to use an individual or God was going to deliver us. You know, I think sometimes we expect God to come charging into our life and to deliver us from the evil that we did, when in reality, God will choose whatever means or whatever methods he decides to use in order to deliver us so that he gets the glory and he gets the credit and not the individual that is being used. One of the things we see about this individual is that when he went to the enemy and he worked his way into the presence of the king and he had arranged for everybody to be able to leave the room by telling the king that he had a secret message from God, we find that after everybody left, he said, I have a message from God for you. And it was a message of accountability. Don't think that just because God will use our enemy sometimes in order to teach us a lesson, that he also won't hold the enemy accountable as well. And he has a message for them. One day, everybody stands before God. When you read down to verse 29, we find that as a result of the courage of Ehud, that God had used him in order to deliver them from the, from the bondage or deliver the nation of Israel from the bondage of the Moabites. We find that the Moabite army was much stronger. In fact, the Bible tells us in verse 9 that they were strong and that they were vigorous. But the thing about it is when God chooses to deliver his people, he can overcome anything that may appear to be man or that may appear to man to be stronger and more vigorous because nobody can outdo what God can do when he seeks to deliver his people, even when they deserve to be punished by God.